Greetings, my name is Aurora. I am a spiritual alchemist, a seer, a clear channel, as well as a beyond quantum healer hypnosis practitioner. And uh, today this video is being made in regards to the Raw Collective. We recently, a couple weeks ago, recorded a message from them in regards to the event and other updates. And it has been very popular. So thank you to everyone for your beautiful comments and your support um, and, and your love. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, so therefore, we collected questions that people still had further questions about. And also the Raw Collective has been talking to me in regards to some of the some other uh, topics they would like to address today. Okay, so um, just to give you a bit of an explanation and how it works with me, I am a, you would say, like in between a clear and a trans uh, channel. So if there is a word for that, I am, am right in between that. Basically what I'm doing is I have set up myself with the creator's love, light, light, love around me to ensure that the distortion is um, at its highest quality. And they start working with me prior and they truly work for me uh, with me daily to ensure that I remain in this frequency whenever um, messages need to be uh, delivered. So the way it works is, is it's one of the hardest, I would say, well, the hardest channel I've had because they are, if you could imagine like one of those uh, Rolodex back in the day, the old one where there's like, you would put the addresses and, and the phone numbers on there and you would flick, flick the pages back and forth looking for. So that's, it feels like they're in my brain and that's what they're doing. And they're flick, they're flicking and flicking, trying to find the words that my, my body soul basically has. And they're trying to use those words specifically to ensure that they get their messages as clearly as possible within our oh, within our own illusion of distortion. Okay, so um, if you could be patient with me as I am not only feeling their energies coming through, and um, I also start feel, experiencing uh, vibrations through my vessel as well as um, numbness possibly within my hands and my in my feet. So um, just some things that for you to be aware if they talk about it because they are monitoring and ensuring that there is no interference with the messages that are coming forth today, okay? So uh, thank you for your patience again in understanding that this is uh, one of the hardest uh, channels for sure. Okay. All right, and um, you can find me. I actually just completed uh, my website. So excited about that. It, it is uh, risingphoenixaurora.com. And I'll go ahead and put it in the links below. Here you can find me to book any sessions. You can look at my uh, any more detail that you want as far as what services I offer and uh, what my calendar looks like. So you can, um, if you're interested in, in booking one, I do quant Beyond Quantum Healing, as I said, and I also do uh, Akashic readings through there and energetic work within uh, the, third, the third eye, expanding it further. Okay. All right. So thank you. This is such an honor and I'm excited to be sharing these messages with you all. And we have Julia again here. Thank you. As we mentioned uh, prior, Julia has uh, been chosen because of her detail to her questions. Now she's not feeling too good today. She has a little bit of cough, but um, uh, we should be good. So welcome, Julia. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so if you could uh, give me a couple minutes, I am going to go ahead and start preparing myself. I like to have my eyes closed, but I can open them if I need to, but um, it's helpful to have my eyes closed to focus. Ideally, I would love to be laying down, but there's no way I could get my computer by the by my bed. <laughs> so this works. <sighs> Give me a couple minutes, Julia. Just 
just realized today adds up to the number 13. I am Ra. We greet you in the love of the infinite creator. We thank all who is here listening to our messages through this instrument. This instrument has been tuned in ensuring distortion of our messages today shall be not interfered with We come to you in unity as one. We are the guardians. That within the laws of free will, We enter universes 
or star collections, star collectives. when we are called upon only for we come from the love light light love of the infinite creator and honor and respect the laws of unity of the law of one We thank you once more. You may ask your question now. Thank you. I'm honored to be here with you today. The first question I would like to ask um, will lead us into a couple more. So we'll start with if you could please tell us more about the wanderers who they are and what their roles are and what issues do you see that many of them are facing at this time? I am Ra. We ask that you break, separate apart that question for it has many questions, not many, several questions within it. Yes, of course. First of all, could you please tell us who are the wanderers? I am raw. The wanderers. as well as many know them as the volunteers are higher density beings of what is within your planetary sphere of the third and fourth density. They are higher beings exceeding these third and fourth densities coming forth from some fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, even above that, no less above the seven, that have volunteered. in agreement within their own free will to come forth, incarnate or walk in into mind, body, spirit complexes the intention of raising the vibrations on earth, on your planetary sphere, therefore we are able to connect to them as we mentioned prior through their soul family connections. There are millions of them, millions of you. You have chosen to come through the veil of earth planetary sphere lowering your density 
to coexist within your mind, body, spirit complexes. Also in choosing to forget your memory complex. of whom you are connected to the all, the one and infinite creator. However, still as an individual fractal of the creator. Experiencing you would call Duality, polarities of both the negative and the positive. The choice you have chosen to be here. With that, we remind you answering your question of challenges you may have currently. What is the largest, most difficult challenge that you see amongst the wanderers currently? I am wrong. The biggest challenge in your mind, body, spirit complex is that you have become disconnected and have forgotten. Though, again, you have volunteered for this, you have forgotten of your connection to the one and infinite loving creator. Therefore, we remind you today of your connection and we remind you in going within where all the answers you seek are within taking time in deep thought form and meditation this aids you in harnessing the frequencies, the vibra vibratory complexes, in order to find the answers within. Many of you have reacted in this event in a sense of savior wanting to it to be a savior, forgetting that you volunteer to come forth, incarnate into your mind, body, spirit complex in order to not only, only remember yourself, an extension of the one infinite creator. Also though, remembering of your soul families that are here, 
volunteers, wanderers, as you are. Just wave this event, this solar flare that we speak of in the distance, perhaps between your time distortion, time space distortion, still has several years for it to come into fruition. The event is occurring as we speak, as the solar flares we spoke prior are occurring more often than you realize. When, at, when wanting to look at this event as a savior, you are forgetting the true reason you came for. In service to others of your soul family and in service as well to oneself. For you chose, you chose to be connected to this harvest and choosing to ascend. When this final physical solar wave comes through, if you are not within the above the 50 percentile more so clearly within your illusion of distortion, 51% of service to others. What do you think will happen to your mind, body, spirit complex? To your conscious spirit if you do not reach the 51 percent to serve service to others then you will have not accomplished the goal of ascending with this planetary sphere you will remain within the what some would call old earth in the th third and fourth some densities and not accomplish the harvesting of this this 25,000 year cycle therefore we remind you to have patience work within find yourself within your heart centers or when you find yourself then you truly see all around you and will be able to connect to others through their heart centers in aiding, awakening their mind, body, soul, spirit complexes. We remind you, you came forth not in choosing to stay in the old earth, You came forth on this planetary sphere in ascension with the harvest in aid to the mind, body, spirit complexes on earth that needed your assistance. Thank you. Thank you so much.
quick follow up to that is how do we know if we are approaching or exceeding that 51% level of service to others? I am Ra. We thank you for this question. Instrument is experiencing numbness in the feet. We are trying to aid her in the balancing of these vibrations she feels within her mind, body, soul complex. She can perceive them. So the question was, how do we know if we are approaching or exceeding that 51% level of service to others? I am raw. This is the question. A question of significance. We ask that you look now within as we speak. Look within in your daily life within illusion. Do you feel that what you create within your mind, body, spirit complexes the creation of the combinations of these vibratory influences ask when I create in your daily functions of work interaction with your soul families, interaction with your loved ones, interaction with the public. Do you create with the intentions of assisting others and this adding up when adding up within your illusion Do you have, do you reach, do you obtain a 51% in all that you create of a being, of being above 51%? Service to others service to oneself do you create instead above the 51 percent service to oneself 
do you come forth in creation from your heart center, setting the intention of your individual consciousness that is connected to the collective consciousness of your planetary sphere. Example, we use this instruments daily daily mind, body, spirit, complexes, and the vibratory that is used daily. We search now for an example. This instrument was at a, you could call, post office, a elderly lady, elderly, what you would call an elderly mind, body, spirit complex came to her and asking that in need of a couple dollars to be able to reach her destination. This instrument, instead of turning away, because in that moment, the knot only had a few dollars in her wallet, searched, and search for the maximum amount still within a couple dollars of your social complex. She chose to give those dollars. She chose service to others in the sensation and understanding that she would be helping this mind, body, spirit elder to her home. Therefore, when you ask, when you're given a choice, you, for example, just have a couple dollars from your money control system, your social system, would you let go? and understand and give these to someone who needs them more in understanding that you will always receive more later. In that path, she was shown, she was shown 
she chose service to others. In surrendering and understanding that this human needed it in aid in this moment. She could have chosen, this instrument could have chosen to keep those dollars in case she desire to use them and that would have been service to oneself instead she shows service to others and aiding another so therefore we remind you in all that you do look at the different paths you are your own you would call psychics your own you can see your own creation if you silence your mind body spirit complex if i take this path will it be of service to others if i take this path will it be of service to oneself and all that you create if you choose within your free will of your own illusion you can choose with which path for your you are your own creator and we are here to remind you of this for too long you have been taught that you are not, that you are powerful, beautiful, humans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to switch gears a little bit. You mentioned Maldek in the last channeling, in the last message, and we had some questions about that. Could you tell us what Maldek is and how it relates to our history? I am Ra. The Maldek was a civilization within a planetary sphere that was of the second density. that the prior guardians made a decision with the approval of the Galactic Confederation in using those body complexes of the second densities and in your planetary, in your star collective here you have a planet that goes by the name by your social memory complex of Mars 
We have spoken of this in our books. We will briefly touch this for understanding of your collective memory complex. Those guardians then you would say were came to a wall found because of the separation on this planet on this planetary sphere mars sphere mars there was distortion of the negative and positive polarities turning into wars violence this planet Terry sphere was came to a end to a destruction and the mind body spirit consciousness within this planet were gone were not gone, where they failed their harvest by choosing war and separation and religion and negative technology like you have here on your planetary sphere, like missiles and weapons. This brought them to their demise. We then, those guardians of that time, created a solution with approval of the Galactic Federation of disentangling this collective consciousness of beings working with these consciousness And it took thousands of years to do so. To help this consciousness that was you would say as your mind, body, spirit complex lost. deeply in losing who they were. They disentangled and were able to heal their memory complex, their social memory complex as a collective. And in combination, they combined these collective consciousness, combined them into the second density of the Maldic planetary sphere, creating the humans that are on Earth, on your planetary sphere now.
giving them a second chance in being able to still obtain the harvest being that their original harvest of their own 25,000 year cycle had been lost. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know that there's a lot more that could be said about that, but I think I'd like to move on to something that you've mentioned um, in the recent answer. What can you tell us about the Galactic Federation? Who are they and what is their job? I am Ra. The Galactic Federation is a unified, as we spoke in the prior channel, of many different races, approximately 53 different races of humanoid mind-body-spirit complexes they have also Though we cannot give exact details, they have the Galactic Federation has special, not special, specific galactic you would call squads in your mind body, in your vocabulary complexes. Or teams or groups that when it is time, enter your the surroundings of your planetary sphere that are in connection to the two guardians that have come forth now, the two new guardians that come forth now. overseeing the timeline is at its highest good for your planetary sphere in the creation of your harvest. You would perhaps view them as strong, wilted, mind, body, spirit complexes that go from collective of stars where we receive the call from 
within your illusion. Their roles are their mission are in overseeing all, whether it is the universal webbing that is connecting to your planetary sphere, whether there is your landlines as well, your portals that exist within your planetary sphere energetically. They ensure you can envision best description we find within this vibratory complex exterminators they are as exterminators ensuring still within the law of one that no longer the control and the examples within your mind, within your collective planetary sphere consciousness We are showing this instrument like a like a control panel, though we these, the Galactic Federation teams cannot overstep free will as we operate within unity of the love of the infinite creator. We show this instrument where can move your hands around and move this energy, this direction, send this vision to these collective of soul groups, send harness the solar flare that flares that are coming from the sun, harnessing them and directing them into your planetary sphere on dates that your collective consciousness, social memory complex feels that is a special day, date numbers, like days that add up to numbers that signify support or love or not dates that have within your time, an illusion that have multiples of numbers. It 
example. One 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 was around the time when we sent the first of the solar flares into your planetary sphere and your vibratory collective complex. Knowing that you as a collective understand that these dates and numbers have an importance or significance we are allowing for the solar waves to come forth amplified as they are meant to be every day solar flares reach your planetary sphere there is also like we said bigger word there is stronger solar flares more intensified within your illusion being sent down to earth on these dates however solar flares are here the event is here in being so because of the ascension, individual ascensions, when your mind, body, spirit complexes reach the above 51% of service to others within your heart chakras, your heart centers, when reaching this above 51% service to others within your free will, you are given a choice of ascending into what you would call within your collective complex, collective mind, body, spirit complexes, the new earth. We show a vision we gave this instrument during dream time where it was as your within your illusion of movie called the matrix where you are plugged up and your energies are being controlled, being monitored, And in order to unplug from the system of the matrix within your planetary sphere illusion of distortion, you must unplug 
graduate from this third, fourth density in order to enter into the fifth density of the new earth. When this occurs, for example, a mind, body, spirit, another mind, body, spirit complex, when they ascend, you do not, you are not aware within your own human consciousness that they have ascended. Therefore, you stay here within this third, fourth, these third, fourth densities of your planetary sphere, not seeing whether that person ascended into the new earth, which can give distortion to oneself and not being able to see within your mind, body, spirit complexes that they have ascended. This is also where your social memory, vibratory energies of hopelessness can come from. Please trust and understand that everyone is ascending every day. We correct that many ascend on a daily basis. However, because you are still plugged to the third and fourth density, you are unaware of who's ascending into the fifth density of the new earth. Thank you. The instrument wants to know what time it is. Um, it has been approximately a little over an hour, maybe. Shall we end this session at this time? I am raw. If you can please give her an exact time within your time illusion. It is, it is 12.42 Chicago time. I am raw. You may ask one more question. Thank you. You just mentioned that you provide much assistance to our collective consciousness in focusing our efforts, uh, such as meditative efforts. Um, someone had a question, could you give us an example is there a tangible example that you might be able to point to which could demonstrate for us how effective our mass meditations have been uh 
I am wrong. We are unable to give much detail. We shall speak through this instrument what we can. There was a recent there were recent battles within your inner earth. Inside your planetary sphere, inner earth. When many concentrated within their collective mind body spirit complexes of your planetary sphere with love and light towards these battles within the inner earth these People we like the word people were able to find and harness this love light energy to overcome and protect their soul families, their friends, there has also been instances in your time space illusion of 2017 hurricanes being harnessed harnessed being magnetized by negative technology within the Orion groups though little though minimal hide hurricanes that touch some that were amplified in a negative vibratory collective complex of your mind body spirit collective within your planetary sphere amplify the fear lower vibratory energies within your illusion of distortion and causing further havoc, destruction, stress, anxieties, by many on your planetary sphere concentrating on love light light love and sending these vibrations to your collective 
consciousness of your planetary sphere, we're able to calm these hurricanes, those who connected to the fear of them, were in fear. Those who connected and aided and kept their vibratory of their mind, body, spirit complexes within high were able to understand and feel and not be fooled that all would be well with love, light, light, love. These winds were able to be calmed. Furthermore, not obtaining the destruction that was being seeked from this event. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the example that you gave about the hurricanes. I remember many of us focusing positive thoughts and intentions on the storms and it, it I remember at the time it feeling like it really did make a difference in the outcome. Thank you for reminding us of that. Thank you for all of the answers and the time that you've given us today. Thank you very much. I love you, I honor you, I respect you. And shall we now bring Aurora back? I am Ra. Yes, we shall. We leave this group now and remind you to rejoice in the love, in the infinite love, in the love and infinite of the one creator, Adonai. Thank you. Aurora. <sighs> How are you, Aurora? I'm good. I'm good. Just give me a couple minutes. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> oh. oh, how are your feet this time? Um, better, better. My vessel, it's like I try to talk to them. Would it, it would be so much nicer if we didn't have to use such complicated words. Work with me here. <laughs> No, you did very well. <laughs> no, I know, but I was like, um, it'd be so much easier for us to explain the words with not many complex words as they like to use, but that's okay. <laughs> that's just my own human <laughs> um, mind um, wanting to be a challenge. <laughs> um, but yes, my vessel... Um, feels uh heavy but not as um as lost of a sensation i also had felt like there was even more so of a clear connection um not so much of an interference as we might have had last time um towards the end there was some interference trying to um uh, interrupt our transition our our communication our trans mission did i say that right yeah <laughs> very good so it yeah may, uh -huh. that may simply have been because we were just doing this alone and didn't um didn't advertise that there's no one here but us right now so that may have helped the very, energies there. yes that that is a great point thank you i didn't think of that <laughs> um thank you julia for being here and always um being so uh you could say protective over myself and always thinking what i don't think of you know you're very good at that so i am grateful always in honor and love and respectful and grateful for you thank you
Thank you. Well, they, they made it very easy this time because they, did. they would drop the words that were in the next question. So <laughs> it kind of just unfolded very easily. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> they knew what we had discussed. They knew the questions on the paper. They told us yes. basically what they wanted to talk about. So mm -hmm, they, they did. Very easy. Yes. Very good. Well, thank you, Julia, again. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And thank you to everyone who tuned in to us today and um, listening to this message may, again, reach many hearts to awaken many, many, many more. We love you. We honor you. We thank you. And we respect you. As we, the galactics, like to say, thank you. Thank you as well. <laughs>